Hey team, I'm Lindley Davis. And I'm Lauren Canterbury, and welcome to Let's Talk Jack. With around 2,000 employees and over three dozen locations spread out all across North America, we are here to make a large team feel more connected. We also want to share about the happenings at Jack Cooper with family, friends, and all those considering a career with us. And while we're at it, we hope to have a little fun along the way. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date on everything Jack Cooper. Now let's dive into the next episode. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Jack. We have another behind the scenes exclusive to learn more about the amazing things happening in our IT department. They have been hard at work developing and implementing new systems and updates. So we wanted to take some time and learn more about those changes. To give us the inside scoop, we are joined by VP of Technology Services, Francisco Diaz, Senior Systems Engineer, Jacob Schwegman, did I say that right? Yes, awesome. you got it. <laughs> Woohoo! And pro uh, product manager, Matthew Buttemeyer. So thank you guys so much for joining the show. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having us. All right, Jacob, I'm going to just dive right in and start with you. Uh, one of the first topics I'd like to discuss is something that um, that has been recently rolled out. I know this because me and my team, we went through the training, uh, which is the new service desk portal. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, sure. So uh, we recently rolled out, like you just said, our new uh, Jack Cooper support portal. Um, and we've done a lot of work <laughs> in a short amount of time to get that pushed out. Um, but uh, basically, we're looking for something um, that uh, was just a little bit more modern, a little bit more intuitive, a little bit easier to use. Um, we heard a lot of feedback that um, some things were hard to put in. It was difficult to use the previous software. And so we were just looking looking to see what was out there, to see if there was anything better. And uh, we found a lot of different products that were actually a little bit better. And um, we found something that was pretty competitive and price actually a little bit cheaper than our previous support software. So that's a win, right? And so um, we, we found a lot of good features. We narrowed it down to what we ended up going with. And we, um, we really like what we've come up with. Uh, and it's it's called Solar Winds uh, is the platform underneath, and we we've branded it Jack Cooper Support Portal uh, or Support Service Desk, um, and it's just it's been a great a great opportunity to be able to do that to work on that uh, project, but it gives us um, a lot of um, flexibility, a lot more flexibility than we had in our previous software, um, and it provides I think a little bit easier experience for our user base to use it. Um, and so it's just, it's been a, it's been a great, uh, project uh, uh, so far. And so, um, another thing that it gives us that we didn't have before is, is, uh, asset management. And, uh, we didn't have that in our previous software. We have that in this one, it's all bundled together. And so that's going to provide a lot more insight for us on the back end to track the different devices in our field, um, and, and, uh, attach those to our, our tickets. And so it's, it's, yeah. So I think um, I, we can't wait to see what uh, what comes in the future. Well, awesome. So I love that you took people's feedback and then you you found something that would be more user friendly. I love it. I mean, I, I think I made them, um, an, an error the first time I went and submitted a ticket, but it was easy. It was a lot easier and I learned my mistake and I will do it better next time. Um, <laughs> But um, it, it, it is a good program and it is very, very easy and a lot of visibility um, it, of, of, you know, tickets and, and easy to find um, the, the catalog is, is, is very mm -hmm. easily displayed. So I love what you guys have put together and it's, I hope the, um, the rest of Jack Cooper team, you know, they, they, they like, a, they feel the same way too. So I'm interested to hear with the feedback as well. All right, Francisco, uh, recently there was another big update that your team worked on upgrading our Solomon system. So for those unfamiliar with that system, can you tell us what it is and, and then what's different? So briefly, I'll give you the, I guess, the, the boring book definition. Microsoft defines it as, a, as an ERP system is what Solomon is. It's got a lot of different uh, modules that we could we could use and take advantage of. Uh, we currently use maybe three of those, mainly the uh, 
the finance and accounting modules. So we have our accounting folks and in, in finance, but mostly accounting people are always there uh, doing work. And, and so we we have upgraded to the latest and greatest of on that, um, providing and the, the upgrade is not just the software, we're providing a bigger, better backend. The servers are better, more, more powerful. Uh, we also provided a new front end to access the application that allows them to do their work from home or at the office at the same speed. That used to be an issue with the way that it was deployed before. If you were at home, it was a little slower. If you were at work, it's a little bit faster, but it was still pretty slow. And as you know, they they work on pretty tight schedules. They have to finish certain things and in the time they get in the week and, and there's not much time to failure in between. So we needed to provide something that, that performed quicker and also that that is is reliable and it works the same way whether they're they're at home or they're at work so also the software has has a few uh upgrades uh that allows them to um, look, look up data reporting other things that that are are going to be of of, of use to them so some new features that they added uh, that has also been has been good and i think we've worked out the majority all of the, the different things that came up at the beginning of, of the deployment. But Jacob was talking about the service desk. Both deployments happened in a matter of a week apart. So there was a lot to, to be done between the two, but both of them were based on pretty tight deadlines. So uh, like you said, we, we worked really hard to make those happen. And it's something that's really important to our group, uh, in, and I know for for uh, at least us group too, the the both the information services and the technology services group, both we try to be as dis uh, the least disruptive while we do this, right? Because especially with the people in accounting and finance, they don't have a lot of downtime to 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 make those transitions. Right. So that makes it hard to to land those on time. So we we work really hard to try to work out the issues before so they can hit the ground running. Um, with the service desk, it was a similar similar approach, but of course we have a larger user user base behind that. Again, at the end, just trying to optimize, give you guys better tools, and and we focus also not only on that but also on cost. Uh, can we provide the same or better at a lesser price? There's a lot of competition today. There's a lot of savings to be made in, in that in that space. So we we want to make sure that we're being good stewards with. With, with our spend, which helps the company bottom line. So I think Jacob was, I think he was, he, he was been a, a little bit shy on the, on the savings. It's actually cheaper than what we had before. And it includes the, the, uh, uh, the asset management. Oh, wow. The other software didn't even, didn't even include that piece. That was going to be an extra cost on top of what we were comparing to begin with. So as you can see, it's a better product. is 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 It's better all around, and 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 we're paying less. So that's that's kind of the goal um, for us. So and my light went off here in my office. So. Oh, you're good. <laughs> no, well, I I appreciate the insight. And again, you guys, you don't see it. The you know for what I see on my side, or maybe an accountant finance, the transition so seamless. You don't see, see the big change. I appreciate that. And I'm sure there's so much hard work that goes into it. So thank you for everything you've done to make that such a, a smooth and seamless transition. You're most welcome. I think everybody in the team is paying attention to the details and that's where, that's where things go right or go wrong and, and they've done a good job with us. Yeah. All right, I'm going to switch gears a little bit here. I'm going to come to you, Matt. You've been leading some of the yard initiatives. Can you give us an overview of some of the improvements that you and your team have made and how that benefits um, the yard? Yeah, um, we've really focused on ground control, and that kind of breaks apart into some of the physical inventory stuff, simplifying a physical inventory process. We have something in place right now. It's a little difficult to navigate as far as typing some parameters into the scanner. So this new ground control physical inventory is set up to make it very user-friendly, um, very simplified view with the ability to export just like they have in the old outdated way of scanning everything in Excel. Um, the big piece that I'm really excited about coming from an operations background and doing some rail loading, the, the rail loading setup piece that we had in place or still have in place at some locations 
is a little outdated. It's a handwritten process, and that comes with its own list of errors and kind of holds up some billing on the railroad side. So we were able to introduce some new technology to actually scan the RFID tags on the rail cars. So been working with a lot of the team members on this. Um, everybody's kind of adding little bits and pieces, getting some feedback from supervision. But the rail car scanning piece has been awesome and just saved a ton of time as far as walking the tracks instead of handwritten notes and transposing the rail car numbers that way. Um, you just go by and scan it. You can go basically at the same pace that you're going to walk the rail cars. So it's really, really cool to introduce some new technology. Yeah. Um, they've made them. The team's made some improvements on track manager and having an overview of all of the rail cars lined out so you can see the work you're performing right there on the spot with the scanner. So a lot more time out in the yard and being able to make some adjustments that way too, which has really improved uh, operations at the rail loading level also. So good feedback so far. Fort Wayne's good. been using this. Uh, Wentzville's been exposed to it now too. So we'll keep going with that and continue to make improvements on it. That is an exciting big change. I imagine making this uh, uh, such a manual handwritten process automated like that, how that would be very time saving and also the accuracy that comes with it. That's yes. really, that's really great. <laughs> great, great improvement. Yeah, uh, everybody has different handwriting, so it's tough to read sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right, Francisco, um, last question. Can you give us a little sneak peek at any other future plans that your department might be working on? Well, a little bit, because we have things that, that are not, you know, confirmed. And But but just, just to kind of set the, 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 the tone to for the answer, I think um, our group now, after doing the work we have done on the back end um, for our data centers, getting all of that, um, stabilized and, and and merged and simplified. I mean, it's an ongoing process. It's, it's going to continue, but we're trying to focus on, on tools like what we just talked about that can go to the users. And where we see that, that the timing is right, uh, we're going to be able to train people. We're going to be able to make an easy transition. We're going to be able to um, uh, really pro provide a tool, not just for the sake of providing a tool, but providing something that's going to make uh, the, the workday better. Uh, and more efficient, it will be jumping on those. But some of something, this is a small one that, that that's coming up. We we've done some work with uh, both our our union and non-union SharePoint sites, and and the way for both sides to access um, uh, some some information here in the future is going to be uh, simplified. Uh, I know you guys are working on some some training that's going to be uh, writing on that platform and and providing that access secure for both groups to to access it equally equally well it's going to be um i think again another step just, just taking those small steps to 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 making thing, things simpler for you guys to expose that that information securely to both groups uh equally so uh it's going to be great that's that's a small thing we got others i mean we continue to work on on uh improvement across our terminals whether it is network or other needs that they may have. We have already visited some, some terminals this year. We'll continue to do that as needed. So we, we got other things coming coming down the pipe for sure that, that we're evaluating. And and, and again, it's, that's the focus. We, we want to give you guys the, the right tool for, for the job because we all know that having the wrong tool for, for, for the job is, is no fun. And yep. we, we're quite aware of that. And we're listening a lot as we go visit with people and, and hear what's going on. Uh, learn more and more about those pain points. Uh, we can go back to the drawing board and figure it out, hey, that's something we can do this way or that way. And then communicating back with them and saying, would this help? I think uh, it, it, it's it's the right approach. So Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see those things come to fruition. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. really exciting. And leading with the idea of the user experience in mind, I just, mm -hmm. I know there's going to be great things coming. So thank you for that. Jacob, who is the special guest that joined you? Yes. My uh, daughter came into the room. She's looking for a blanket. So, Oh, I wish you would have <laughs> stayed long enough to say hi. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, before we go, I wanted to have a little bit of fun with you guys and play a round of hot takes. 
Hot takes. So just a short round, I'm gonna ask you, make a statement and I'm going to just kind of give me your thoughts. You know, there's some pretty controversial uh, um, statements. So uh, we're gonna go with you, Jacob. I'm gonna start with you first. So just give me your thoughts on this. Samsung is better than Apple. <laughs> uh, I think they're both good products. Um, I prefer Apple over Samsung um, in my personal opinion, but uh, I, just, I feel like it's a little bit more seamless and a lot easier to use and a little bit more intuitive. But let's see. Do you guys agree? Uh, yeah, Francisco. Ooh, I knew I'd get you on this one. You, you know, I don't. I don't have a, a dog on either fight. I think. I mean, I use Apple products because I have so many apps that I've bought in that environment. Not just me, but the kids <laughs> and the family. That's how we share. Um, uh, yeah, I heard recently that that Disney doesn't let the villains. I'm sorry, Apple doesn't let villains use. Uh, Apple devices and that's like a rule like people like in Marvel movies you can't you cannot have Apple devices if you're the villain <laughs> so if you pay attention it's all it's all Android for the, for the villains isn't that crazy <laughs> that's really funny I guess I'm, like, uh, I'm, the villain and I'm still on Android I have not made this good, good for you no I if that's what you like the time. Yeah. go for it <laughs> yep polarizing I, I, yep I knew it would be all right <laughs> Francisco, Google is the superior search engine. Google Chrome, I should say, is the superior search engine. Do you agree? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I have no oh. problem with that. That looks I've like a resounding others. yes. I've tried others. Yeah. No, we in IT, we do a lot of Googling, and that's still the case today. I don't know what would happen later when the chat GPT and everything else. I mean, obviously, superior ways of searching will come with AI. For sure, but for now, I, I I would agree with that statement. Yes. Okay. Well, that was a good answer. <laughs> it looks like everybody agreed. All right, Matt. Now this is another very controversial question. I'm only asking this, and Lindley's not here today, so I have to ask this oh. in her absence. <laughs> the Atlanta Braves will win the World Series this year. Oh man, I have checked out of baseball altogether <laughs> with the way the Cardinal season's going. So I'm glad you <laughs> saved that one for me, being in the St. Louis area. Um, <laughs> I, I can pull for the Braves. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll side with you on that. That's fine. Okay, well, I, if I'll, I'll, be, I'll tell you how happy I am on behalf of Winley. I know she'd be thrilled with that answer. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a really fun hot takes round. Um, I Again, thank you guys all for coming on the show. I had a lot of fun. Um, I can't wait to to provide this update to the rest of the Jack Cooper family. So I and, and I, I honestly cannot wait to, to see all the great things that are to come. So thank mm -hmm. you so much. Until next time. Bye, guys. Thank, thank you. you.